Little remains of the Syrian city of Homs after five years of civil war. It's essentially a wasteland. Hundreds of thousands have fled. Some have stayed, and even a few have come back. CCTV's Su Ju Tse introduces us to an artist who is trying to bring hope and healing to the city's ruins. A boy kneeling on the ground, resisting an ISIL fighter. A soldier setting the boy free. This is the latest project by Jafar Mary. It's called The Culture of Life and the Culture of Death. Jafar is 22 years old. He lives in Homs. Before the start of the Syrian crisis, he studied French literature at the University of Homs. As the situation got worse, the university was closed, and Jafar was forced to leave his school. I was wounded in an explosion one night. My injury was not serious, but many people were killed. The real pain is not about my injury, it's about my country. Unlike others who fled, Jafar stayed with his camera. He started taking pictures. The city under siege became his inspiration. I wanted to create some hope and show the world that we are going to be happy despite the collapsed houses. Every destruction will be followed by hope and happiness. Last year, Jafar took wedding photos that went viral of a newly married couple. The groom in military camouflage kissing his bride in a white wedding gown amid the ruins of homes. For me, every photo speaks about an idea. Once an idea comes to mind, I'll try to make a photo. When you see the photo yourself, it will make you burst into tears or laughter. As a tribute to those who died in homes and to bring hope to those who remain, Jafar started another project with his friends, painting flowers on walls marked with countless bullet holes. We lost around 13,000 lives in my neighborhood. We're trying to show the whole world that the blood of these martyrs is not cheap. The holes in the wall represent their blood. I draw a flower around every hole, and each represents a martyr. Flowers bloom on the wall. Green turns to color. Jafar says soldiers from nearby checkpoints help him paint. When you're desperate and you suddenly see such drawings, you really become happy and have hope to live in a stable and safe Syria again. Jafar says he's seen the brightest and darkest days of homes. He wants to see a rebirth. He said he will do his best to heal the wounded city and bring hope to desperate Syrians with his camera. In Homs, we witnessed too many explosions. I don't have much, but I'm trying to do something simple to show the world we're continuing our lives and nothing can stop us. Xu Dezhi, CCTV, Homs, Syria.